Ah, back in the shop again. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. New DLC has dropped. It's a DLC from 2018 that they released when 2021 was already out. So they went back in time to put a DLC in the old game while the new game was out, and now they've remastered that old Hot Rod DLC and put it in 2021, and now it's here. Boom. All sorts of hot rods. We got five cards. It's only three dollars and fifty cents on the Steam Workshop. I'll put the link in the description down below if you want to check it out yourself. <sighs> but today, my friends, it's busy day, busy day, busy day. Because we got a hot rod to knock out. It took me about a good two hours to find this. <laughs> Both of them actually, and those are the only two I found. And it was only on the one junkyard map. We're gonna crush it. But right now, it's gross. Detailing work, sure. Go ahead and de go ahead and deets. Give me the deets. Are you good now? Are you good? Are you all right? Okay, okay. Yes, please. My, what a lovely color of rust you are. Why? Thank you. Yes, go ahead, repair it, make it all rust, unrusted, unrusted, unchained. Very good. Let's take you out. It's a good thing they only had two wheels on here. Otherwise, we would have been so effed. It's fun to have a couple hot rods in the mix. It's a good thing to have, I suppose. If you're in a pinch. Or if someone wants to, like, really throw down. It'd be like, bring your hot rod. Just don't race them for slips, because it could be a bad day for you. It just could be a bad day. Just saying. Just saying. It is a weird thing when you haven't played a game in quite some time, then you hop back into it, and you're like, yeah, it takes a little, got you know, Dust the cobwebs off a little bit there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, okay, how does this go on here again? Oh, yeah, that is right. Okay, guess we gotta get the starter here. It looks like it's just a regular old V8 OHV, which means break out the valve push rods, the valve stems, the valve rods. They're awful. Uh, let's see. I think that's good. I think we're good over here. V8 OHV. Nothing too wild. Oh, wait. Hold on. Valve push rods are already there. They're already staring at me. They hate me. I don't know why. It's because I mock them. They mock me. All right. Let's go ahead and separate the parts. Separate the parts. Oh, yeah. Let's go put this in. All right. Looking good. We got the uh, crane operating. Our pullout game is mad strong. And then we go ahead and put this John over huh? Ho 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 ho. Nifty. Uh, the valve push rods. The death of me. The rubbish. I hate them. I didn't like them at all. But they're necessary. Gotta have some push rods. You gotta have it. This thing is rusted to garbage. I don't even know if we'll be able to save some of this. Eh, some of it. We'll be able to save some of it. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it. Very little though. Oh, uh, where are Oh, over here. <laughs> Taking out the cam gears, the cam shaft. Oh yeah, we gotta flip this. Turn around. And out come the pistion. It's I forget the rod caps. Can never forget the rod caps. Eh. Eh. Awesome. Take the engine block. That's good enough. It's like we have one brake disc ventilator, one disc, one simple disc. Now, when it comes to what we need to get, oh, let's go to the interior here. Get the V8 OHV. All right. Just a straight up V8 OHV, nothing too fancy, nothing too wild. Air scoop, we're going to need it. We're also going to need this cam gear right here. They never ever repair. Uh, got the pulley. Uh, valve. We're gonna need, I believe, 16 of these. We're also gonna need all the tie rods. They do not repair. Let's grab two of those. Two of these, the inner and outer tie rods. They come together. Uh, let's go. Rubber, small rubber bushings. Uh, we're gonna get. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna snack up 20 of these Johns. And then for small rubber Johns, we need. I'm just gonna grab eight of them. Even numbers. Even Stevens, uh, water pump, pulley, and we're gonna need the V8 joint. Where are you? Where are you? Fussy sauce. Fussy loose. There you are. Awesome. 
And OHV. And then we can just go down the gambit. Picking up all the things I knew we we're not going to be able to do anything with. But this guy right here, we're going to need the timing belts. Necessary. We need a timing chain. Two chains. And then the rest should be either repairable or we'll find some problems. We'll find them. Don't forget the brakes. We're going to need... Well, there's going to be two brake drums. One brake disc ventilated. Two brake pads. So it's got a brake servo that didn't come out of the engine. And calipers. Uh, I think we're just going to need two. Awesome. All right. Alternator, brake disc ventilated, ceramic. Oh, I forgot that we have these here. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, yeah, let's go, let's go high, let's go high tech. Let's go high tech. Yeah. And then we'll, uh, get the little camshaft. Uh, you know what? Let's type in OHV here. OHVF, OHVE, OHVC. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Engine head. We're going to need two of those jams right there. Uh, what else? Pistons. No, those are just regular OHV. Uh, rear muffler. Probably going to need that. Probably. I can only guess. Only two carburetors here. Looking fine. Uh, clutch plate. What do you know about pressure? What do you know about pressure? Uh, let's see. Engine heads. I bet she gets a great helmet. Um, flywheel because we're so fly. And the exhaust pipes. We'll see what's going on with the exhaust later on. We need spark plugs. Where are the spark plugs at? Spark plugs. Hello? Ignition distributor A believe that's the one we want you're the one that i want you are the one i want distributor cap Put the rotor in there looking, looking real nice i remember when this first came out and i was like oh man they got a little cool mini game to repair stuff instead of just clicking on a button and now i just want the button <laughs> like, it's so so tedious everything is just so tedious why can't it be a little easier but It'll be fine. We'll get through this together. Hold my hand. Well, also, don't forget, we're going to need some regular joints here. Let's see. We've got the rod caps. We're going to need six of those and bearing caps. We're going to need two more, though. Uh, let's go three of those just in case I forget. I forget. I'm a very forgetful person. But I don't forget about you. Won't you uh, forget about me? No, I won't do it. I won't do it. Can't do it. And we're going to need the nation coil B. Aggressive. B E aggressive. We're going to need the uh, cables as well. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. Crankshaft. Looking at a fine. Let's put those pistones in there. with. Con oh, that's right. The piston rings. There we go. Now, Diesel, is this a, a DLC that we've kind of been asking for? I don't really know. I don't really hop into the forums. It is kind of a nice ad. I'll give it that. But one thing that I do want isn't so much of a DLC as it is an update. I just want to be able to have a showroom. Is that so hard? Why am I buying million dollar cars? Oh, I need a clutch release plate. Um, I'm buying millions of dollars worth of cars, but I have to store them in some unair conditioned storage unit in Arizona. You know what I'm saying? Can I get something nicer? If I have $13 million for cars, or $10 million for cars, I did have $13 million, I spent a little bit of cash. Um, I should be able to own my own facility. I built this entire thing by hand, mind you, this entire garage that you see. These two hands right here. Think I can hire a crew to build something nice for me. I'm just saying. All right, we're going to need an oil pan. OHV, oil pan, oil pan. Hmm? There we are here. Nice. Very good. Quality. Timing cover. Show that on here. Looking real nice. Real good. Let me tell you what. Let's flip this thing around here. Get underneath it's under under the under bridges here. Gross. Oh, we need. Ah, oh, I forgot the oil. Whoopsies. See, again, 
You hop on in. You forget the basics. You forget them. You just do. But it's just like riding a bicycle. Oil pan. Pan the man. Rufy O. Rufy O. Rufy O. Okay, let's see. Filter OHV. Oil filter. There we are. Popping in and out. We're making a record time, a, r a record pace, I say. I say that right as I'm about to get to the valve push, uh, push rods, stems, valve stems, valve push rods, valve stems ish. All right. One, two. Oh, the rocker arms. Oh, <laughs> the bane to my existence. Our plugs are in there like swimwear, exhaust manifold. Don't forget those. Got those. They're nice and shiny. Look how pretty they are. Oh my goodness. You could eat off of it. I wouldn't recommend that. Don't do that. But you could. Just saying. Throwing that out there. Can't wait to take this to the track. Can't wait to take this to the track. See what kind of times we get. See what kind of speeds we get. Just gotta be careful though that we don't pull a, uh, a James Dean. You know? Make sure the cliff is far, far away. I remember when I first got my license, my uh, buddy's dad was like, hey man, don't, just, I know you got your license, but don't be no Jimmy Dean. I was like, what, the sausage guy? Sausages? You don't want me to eat a breakfast sandwich? Why would you not want me to eat a breakfast sandwich? I don't get it. Just remember that, write this down. Jimmy Dean is sausage. James Dean is a, uh, he's the cool guy, yeah. Died in a car accident. It's not really that cool, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, we've got some V8 ignition wires. Uh, even though it's V8 OHV, don't worry. The ignition wires will still be V8s. You get your vegetables, your daily intake of veggies. You get the pulleys, all the doodads, you get the water pump, power steering. I'm sorry, that's power steering. This is the water pump right here. Right here. Amazing. Water pump pulley. Pulling in my chain. Although the one thing that's kind of nice about this kind of uh, whip is that even though you have the valve push rods, you don't have to worry. Oh, I forgot the fan. Um, you don't have to worry about having to uh, put in too many idler rollers. It's kind of nice. Go grab you. You're looking fancy. You're looking wonderful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't fool me. I mean, you can. It's not that hard. Boom. This engine, she is done. Now we're not gonna do anything crazy with the engine today. Uh, we're not gonna be painting all sorts of wild colors. I'm kind of just getting back to the mix and plus, I mean, why ruin a classic? I don't even think this thing's gonna be seen. This is gonna be painted all sorts of, all sorts of hot, all sorts of hot. Let's take off the rear bumper. Let's take off the tail lights. Huh. Windows, it's the walls. From the fenders, the headlights. And let me tell you, the accessories are pretty nice looking. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Huh? 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 Pop the engine right in here. Yes, that is the right one. You're 100%. Nice. It's very deep. It's very. Is it supposed to be that low? It seems like it's pretty low. But what do I know? All right, let me uh, go uh, repair some of these body parts that we do have, the very few that we do have. Ah, uh, the repair station. One part, one part, one stupid part, which is fine. Perfect. <laughs> do I have a choice? You do not. All right, let's see here. Mount the parts, power steering, radiator. Brake server, I already have one of those. Lucky me, good for me. Let's get some of the electrical here. Fuse, we need a B case. Need a B case cover. I'm sure we're gonna need at least two of those. Two of these. Maybe two of these two. I don't know. Uh, we'll cancel the search. Cancel the search. What else we got, what else we got? Yes, relays, relays. We're having a relay race. Relay Bs. Type A. I honestly have no idea what I'm looking for. Starter, we're gonna need a starter. Or starter V8. Crap. 
<laughs> Whoops. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah. <laughs> what else? I don't think we're gonna have uh, any uh, ABS modules. I don't think so. Of course, I have been wrong before. Drop this over here. Get the fuse box in here. The base. It's good to have a, a decent base. Summertime is right around the corner, everybody. Get a good base before you go to the beach. And it looks like this is dual exhaust here, too. So that's hot. Get some middle mufflers. It goes straight onto the middle muffler. Oh, nice. Two middle mufflers and a rear muffler. Okay, okay, okay. Two of those. And it looks like it could be... I'll grab one of these. Hot. All right. And it looks like we are all good here in the engine compartment. All right. You raise me up. Hey, I have a question. Is there a place for a battery anywhere in here? Oh, there you are. Fuel tank. I knew it. Fuel tank. I was like, ah, I'm missing something. You know, I was missing a main shot. What's the matter? Oh, I'm in the brake section. That makes sense. All right. Fuel. Tank. Frank the tank. And I guess we need to go into the electronic part and get ourselves a battery. Fully charged, please. Thank you. That there. We got our fuel tank all the way in the biggity back. And then we get a little close to it. We do have a fuel pump and that is set to rock and roll. And now we're fine. Awesome. Uh, we're not fine. We're not fine. All right, got all the parts, all the, the shocks, the shock, shocking money penny, very shocking. Oh, we need sway bars too, garbage. Uh, front sway bar, Consuela, front sway bar, Consuela. And we'll get this sway bar front link B. They do not repair, you will have to purchase them. Front wheel hubs, boop, 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 boop. Brake disc, yeah. Wheel hub cap. Break pads. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no. Let's put our little gearbox on there. The, the fanciest little gearbox you ever did see. And we'll put our starter V8 right there. Boom, boom. Got our middle mufflers. Middle act. And the rear muffler OHV. All of them are performance parts. All of them can be purchased at your local performance parts store. As long as I can click on you. There we go. Got the rear springs over here. Let's get this shock absorber. You will have to get another shock absorber. The caps anyway. Solid, solid arm. Leaf spring plates. These things never seem like they want to do the trick. And we might have to get the U-bolts. Let's get four of those just in case. Just in case, get the rubber bushing. Now we're set. Leaf, leaf spring plate, leaf spring U bolt. Oh, they do repair. Never mind. I'm a dummy. Wheel hub, wheel hub. I'm searching for a wheel hub. Someone that can my heart in wheel hub. Ha 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 ha. I have a voice like an angel and you can't deny. Oh, we need a drive shaft too. This thing is garbage. Uh, we're putting, we're sinking a lot of cash in this. A lot of cash. Way, way more cash than I was expecting. But you know what? We're keeping it. How many times do you get a hot rod coming to your shop? How many? Count them. Did you count them on one hand? Just one hand. Unless you have like a specialty shop or something like that. Then you probably see them all the time. <laughs> Good one, Diesel. I know, right? Spring cap. Springer, Springer. Ram Springer. Uh, solid. 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 Boom. Loving it. It's like McDonald's. I'm loving it. All right. The rims, we need some 21s for the back. Oh, I know, right? All right. We need 21 inch rims for the back. And I believe I have one in the front already. One amount, one, one, and a 17 inch in the front. Nice. Now we need some tires. We're gonna go with some vintage tire wall C's. 17 inches to the front. The width is gonna be 215-ish. Profile, 65. Hot. Now for the back tires. 
That's a whole different story. That's a whole little kit and caboodle right there. Whole different. 21. This is going to be 325. Thick boys. That's okay because we're down with the thickness. Ooh, waka kaka. Boom and 65 as well. No, 55. 55. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And the fastest tire balancer, the fastest tire balancer in this side of the Mississippi. Boom. Crushing it. And now we put these on. We'll install the vintage tires, the thick boys in the back. Oh, yeah. Looking rustic. Oh, I like how it covers it up. Yes. Covers up the bolts. Give me more of that. And sensational. Now we just need some parts for the body and the sole on the inside. I mean, the interior. Uh, tab, tab, tab. We'll get to the interior. Tab, tab, tab. Now they are individual seats. And let's go with a nice little white. Let's go with a little white joint. I dig that. Uh, what else we need? Uh, steering wheels. I guess we need to go a little old schools, I suppose. I suppose. Okay. Push in the interior. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be sexy sleek. That is fancy. I mean, it's kind of more for like a caddy, but... You get, you get what I'm putting down. You're picking up what I'm putting down. Uh, let's see. Now we must go to the body workstation. 1971 Smith & Parker Outlaw. Crushing it. Front bumper. We're going to need all these parts. The doors to the mirrors, from the windows to the walls. From the fender, none of these things were fixed. It's a bummer, man. It's a real bummer. I can't wait to see what kind of mod creators are going to come up with some wild stuff when it comes to hot rods. I think it's going to be pretty nifty. Or not, you know? It could be something where they're like, yeah, you know, I'm not feeling it. And that's fine, too. You know? Sometimes you feel it. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. That mirror, we got the window, that trunk, batteries in the trunk, I like it. Right rear window, right front window, right rear window, mirrors, don't forget the mirrors, and don't forget the taillights. Oh yeah. And last but not least, rear license plate. These nuts, that's right. Making sure everyone knows that these nuts are the franchise. We need to build a car to surround these nuts. I'm on it. All right, to the paint shop, my friends. To the paint shop, to the paint shop, to the paint shop. Do we have any liveries? Yes, give me the liveries. Give me all the liver. Oh, we got some flames going on over here. I like that. Oh, so you can just make it rusty like that. Make it like a rat rod. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What else? Ah, uh, see, we need the flames. That's what we need. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now, here's a deal. Does it, okay, sweet. That is nice. I like that. All right, we're keeping those red flames. Keeping a little white, a little glossy, a little solid. No, not metallic. Not uh, pearlescent, not matte. Not chrome, chameleon, matte chameleon, glossy, solid. We're going to go with the pearlescence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The essence of Pearl. Oh, you're so sexy. So hot. You're so hot, you're scolding. Woo! Ooh, ooh wee! Great, let's go ahead and head it over to the dyno. Actually, no, we need the test path here. Test path first. Gotta gotta realign. Gotta realign our stuff. Gotta realign our chi. We put all the fluids inside of these cars, but we never put any gas in there. Ah, don't you? Don't you think? Okay. I'll tell you what, the liquid looks a lot better. The liquid looks a lot better uh, as of late. Big fan. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yeah, what do you think I'm doing clicking on you? All right, factory power, 253 horsepower. Let's see how our performance parts will max that. Noise. 
Nice. We've doubled the horsepower, double the torque, double your pleasure, double your fun. You're welcome. Oh, okay. You are a beast. Big fan. Now, our purchase price for this John was $6,000. Our profit from this is $77,000 for sell value. Uh, that's just from the parts, but the parts we probably spent about a good 15 grand. But still, it comes out of profit, and I'm keeping this. And that's my choice. I'll tell you what, the inside looks pretty toy. These nuts. I like it. Sure is pretty. Mm-mm. I've used the hybrid steel method of using our uh, shifter, although I have added a second gear. And then that's when it goes off the rails. There we go. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Go with the spin. Go with the spin. Go with it. Do it. Well, you know what? She sure is pretty, though, isn't she, folks? She sure is pretty. Hold on. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this ditch. If you wish. This thing rides smooth as eggs. Still gets to about 100, 120. Then it's a nightmare. Ugh. But fun to play around with. Very, very nice. Oh. Got all sorts of problems going on here. <laughs> GM will save her. Very, very cool. So. Hot Rod DLC is out right now. Link is in the description down below. It's only $3.50. Get five new cars, five hot rods for you and yours. Different kind of deliveries. No new engines or no new parts, but just the cars. Just the beautiful old cars that you can put flames on everywhere. Everywhere. But folks, if you enjoy this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos come out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit that bell notification be aware of all the new content. Out now. Out now. Excuse me, sir. Slow down. Or not. Peace out, like shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, brother. Next time.